And tonight, the lessons learned from the case of the so-called Cleveland Strangler. We brought you the breaking news last night that notorious serial killer Anthony Sowell died on death row from a terminal illness. Lena Lai reports tonight on how the infamous case has had lasting impact on the criminal justice system here and continuing calls for change. On the eve of Halloween, Cleveland police have discovered a true house of horrors. The 2009 discovery of the remains of 11 women in and around the home of Anthony Sowell sent shockwaves through the nation. More than a decade later... Seen a lady jump out the window, running away from Anthony Sowell. Sowell's death brings vivid memories for Donald Laster, who testified at the trial of the Cleveland Strangler. I think that he's probably in hell running from the devil now. The former House of Horrors, demolished years ago, now a frozen lot. The case put forth the cold reality of a failed criminal justice system. These young ladies were black, African-American females, um, some who had maybe a past that people questioned. Uh, do we have a different response in our society due to the identities that people carry? At the time, Ohio saw a backlog of thousands of untested rape kits. The Plain Dealer reported that one from 2009 was later linked to so well, but by then he had killed at least four more. In order for systemic change to take place, there still needs to be more enhanced training for law enforcement across the county. In fact, botched police investigations led the city of Cleveland to pay out more than a million dollars to the families of Sowell's victims. Police had arrested him in 2008, failed to pursue a rape accusation, and allowed Sowell to walk out of jail to kill more women. I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm so happy. Guys. He's gone. A serial killer who went undetected for years. The painful lesson of Imperial Avenue. And we must continue to look inward inside the system and identify those gaps and close the gaps. And Ohio has since passed a law mandating that rape kits be tested within 30 days. And outside here, outside the 8th District Court of Appeals, Anthony Sowell was actually still appealing his 2011 conviction and death sentence up until the time of his death. That case will now be dismissed. Sarah? All right, Lena, important points. Thank you so much.